Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Lady Savage, KetoBrick.com. That's a pretty good intro, huh? Yeah. Yes. All right, we got a product review coming at you. And we got two products. We have Catalina Crunch, which is a keto cereal. And we have Carbon Shade, which is a blue light blocking glasses company. Now, let's start with these. So, would you like to give your first thoughts? Here, me to give my first thoughts. You. Okay. So, I really like the people that I've interacted with so far. Both the, I've interacted with the owner. Um, actually talked to him on the phone. He was a super nice guy. I talked to their social media rep who was in contact with me. Um, great people. Uh, so I cannot say anything bad there. But I, as far as the product goes, I personally would not eat this product. We, we did eat it to try it. Um, well, I'll have another piece right now. You want a piece right now? So we can actually test it on camera. Um, so this is what it looks like. Not a focus, but <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, I think they did a great job doing the no sugar, no grains. I think that that's a really great option for a lot of people, especially people who are like starting keto, wanting to do low carb, just wanting to get rid of the sugars, things like that. Um, it is a little bit higher carb for me personally, just because I have been doing keto for so long. We do it as, you know, like for like athlete training. Um, but anybody who's looking for like a little topping on a yogurt or something just like a, that gives you a, a little bit of a crunch, I think it's a really good option. Um, the focus? see that? I don't know. I think you focused. So the calories for, it's one, I'm sorry, three eighths of a cup, which is 26 grams. For, it's a nice. Which, real quick. That's not very much for cereal. Like when I was a kid and I ate cereal, I, I put the whole box of cereal in my bowl pretty much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so 90 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, 6 coming from fiber, and then 10 proteins. So not super <clears throat> ketogenic, but they did try and do like the no, <coughs> no sugar, no grains uh, kind of option. I don't know why I went down the wrong pipe. Um, the ingredients yeah, yeah. are... <clears throat> Catalina flour, which is organic pea protein, potato fiber, non-GMO corn fiber, chicory root, acacia fiber, guar gum, turmeric, tapioca, Catalina oil, organic hyaluronic sunflower oil, avocado oil, baking powder, natural flavor, sea salt, calcium carbonate, vitamin E, and monk fruit. Now, to me, when I read that, I'm like, okay, it's a bunch of flours and fibers and gums, which is not really my thing. Um, but, again... Neither of us would eat this. We wouldn't recommend this for like athletes trying to follow a strict ketogenic approach or anybody trying to follow a strict ketogenic approach. However, I would recommend this for um, kids that you don't want to be like overly hard on about like yeah. being strict keto. They They're still really want to eat option. cereal, um, but they they don't want to eat. I mean, kids get tired of just bacon and eggs, I'm sure. They want to have something that's fun, something they can put in little Ziploc bags and take on a school bus. This would be a good option for that, um, unless you're trying to go more strict keto with your kids. But I think this would be ideal for that kind of scenario, but I can't recommend this for, like, what I would eat. I wouldn't I wouldn't eat this. Mm -hmm. um, Flavor-wise, I feel like it's, uh, I mean, for what it is, it's not bad. It doesn't taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, if you remember Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but uh, maple not bad. Maple waffle. Yeah, maple waffle. Um, but yeah, so shout out to the company and the people and this has a kid option. So that's what I would say there. The next product is Carbon Shade. Boom. And they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we got some cool sunglasses for you. They didn't say it with that accent though. <laughs> but these are cool because if you know much about like the whole biohacking, sleep uh, quality, all that jazz. You have photoreceptors all over your body. So simply being in a room with this bright light on us right now, even if I'm closing my eyes, I'm still picking up that light from photoreceptors all over my skin. And that's not optimal, especially right before you go to bed. So you want to kind of help 
reset your circadian rhythm. Ideally, I wouldn't have these lights on within an hour or two prior to bed. Uh, but if you're looking at, you know, lights, fluorescent lights, if you're looking at your computer screen, your phone screen, your tablet, you need to be blocking those blue rays to kind of gear your body for sleep. And can you see if there's anything in there about how red light, there's, there's a difference between red light, red glasses, red lens glasses, yellow lens glasses, and blue lens glasses, I think. But these are the most blocking of all of them. And it's true, because like when I put these things on, everything is significantly more red yeah. and blocked Super out red. than my, I have a pair of yellow blue light blocking glasses as well. And I feel like these are much more heavy duty than those. Um, but I... Uh, okay, so carbon shade eyewear blocks the harmful blue and green light that prevents you from getting a good night's sleep. Um, smartphones, indoor lighting, um, dras drastically increasing nighttime light exposure and disrupting melatonin production. Um, but nothing... Oh, wait. Stylus, uh, you can take our red glasses for an evening on the town. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one. What Would you go out with me if I was wearing these? No. You wouldn't go out with me if I was wearing these? I'd be super embarrassed. <clears throat> um... I like them. They feel pretty sturdy too. Like the yeah. glasses themselves feel pretty solid. Yeah, those are actually really solid. Yeah. Let me try these things on. Would you go out with me? I'd go out with you. Sup, babe. Sup. Come with me if you want to live. It's Hasta actually it's funny because when I look in there at us, it doesn't look that different. It doesn't look that different. But yeah. everything is super red. Yeah, super red. Um, but let me see if I can show y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell the build quality. Probably not yeah. with us, but it looks like they're pretty solid. We're I hiding our face solid. so that it focused on that, by the way, yeah. <laughs> not because we're being weird. Um, but yeah, I like these. I'm going to start wearing these probably within the hour prior to bed. And then I'm going to steal his other ones so that I can have a pair. And we're just going to be like matching twinsies. And I'll be wearing yellow glasses. Yes. We're going to wear, wear these and eat our cereal and well, we're not going to eat our cereal but <laughs> our future kids will eat this cereal and we'll get ready for bed so until next time we'll see you later